Hi everybody, it's uh, John back with another final reveal video. Um, this is a kit that I think could have gone together a little bit nicer. I wouldn't say it was a difficult kit to build, um, but it is a Kova Savodi Prostagev um, Aero C2. Um, it did go together quite easily, but the fit, the, the worst part of it is the canopy fit. The canopy fit isn't great, as you can see. Quite a bit of filler in there. It just doesn't conform to the airframe very well. This side is slightly better, but it's not great. Um, also, the paint I chose to paint this kit in is actually Tamiya Titanium Silver, which is a metallic silver colour. And it's not supposed to go um, this tone. It's almost like a burnt tone to it. It's supposed to be more of a polished aluminium colour. Um, but I did enjoy building this kit. It's quite, it's quite an enjoyable build. It does have its limitations. Um, and you do have to be quite uh, okay with filler and sanding sticks and whatnot. The propeller does rotate, but it's not an easy turn. I'm hoping I can show you that the propeller does rotate. The reason why it's not an easy rotating propeller is because, believe it or not, there's no retaining pin for that propeller. I could theoretically take it out if I want to and then put it back in. It just basically pushes through a hole in the front of the uh, engine cowl in there. The underside of the kit is quite colourful. Um, the only national markings on this aircraft are actually the ones that are on the tail fin here. And it's in Czech National Air Force training markings of OKBSF. Um, the C2 uh, is actually an aero license built version of the Arado. AR-96, which was a tandem two-seat uh, training aircraft used by the German Luftwaffe during World War II. And Aero license built it in Czechoslovakia post-war, right up to about 1955-56, um, when it was used by two or three different national air forces as a, as, an as a basic and advanced sort of intermediate trainer, if you like similar to um, the RAF's Chipmunk, same sort of era. Um, and yeah, it was quite liked by its pilots and trainees. Um, would I recommend this kit? Uh, yeah, but you do, I think you do need to have to get a really good result, probably better skills than I have, especially in fitting that cockpit canopy. Um, the underside of the aircraft yeah, it's all right. You've got black strips under the engine cowl in there. Um, it's got proper exhaust sits on the side, which are nice. Um, I did put a few extra markings on this kit that didn't come in the in the model's transfer sheet, which sort of coincided with some of the photographs I've got on this this aircraft. Um, so yeah, that's the Kova Savodi Prostajove or KP Models Aero C2. Quite enjoyed building this. Uh, it's quite a colourful little aircraft. I quite like the look of it. Um, but that's it for this final reveal. I hope this video has been of some use. And uh, I'll see you back for the next one. Thanks for looking. Bye bye.